you know, when they um, she asked me, uh, I'm a Chinese or Canadian. <laughs> I need to slowly decline correctly, okay? Wei Li and her then two-year-old daughter Rachel arrived in Canada in 2009. It's kind of exciting and uh, and also nervous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what what will happen and uh, what will happen for Rachel. So kind of nervous about our future. Be careful. Wei and her husband, both engineers, left successful careers behind in China. I worked at Shanghai for 12 years, mm -hmm. so I want to change a little bit. There's been more than a little bit of change for Wei and her family. She spoke no English and had no job. How to communicate with the other people. So at that time I called my, my mother every day. Yeah, they tear. He must miss her still. Yeah. So why did she do it? Why did Wei leave her home and her family? Oh. Choice. Wei and her husband made their difficult choice so their daughter could make choices of her own. From the three three years in China, the children will go to the, the preschool. But at the preschool, they will have the homework. China's one-child-only policy means there's enormous pressure on kids like Rachel. Pressure to excel in academics and music, and then in careers which they don't choose. When I graduate uh, from, the, from the high school, I want to choose my career. I want to choose my, what I want to study, but I, <laughs> I haven't. Um, the, the family yeah, have more opinion on, on us. Long time, Mom. We'll go home. Rachel's Chinese name, Herling, means a bird who will fly high as she grows. Her parents feel by being here, she'll be allowed to soar however far and in whichever direction she likes.